Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to our channel. I'm Taryn, that's Kendra, and this is Living an OK Life. So on this channel, we bring you vlogs and informational videos about Oklahoma. So this one, it took us a little while to bring out, but it is officially here. Today we are releasing our official guide to Oklahoma City. So today we're going to be showing you guys 19 different districts in Oklahoma City and what there is to do in those different districts. So this video is for people who plan on vacation in here, plan on moving here, people who don't get out much who actually live here. This is for you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here we go. So up first we have the Adventure District. It's located in Northeast Oklahoma City along Martin Luther King Boulevard. So the Firefighter Museum is over there with vintage firefighting equipment on display as well as the National Cowboy Museum that tells the story of the American West. You can also check out family friendly attractions such as the Oklahoma City Zoo and the Science Museum. They're located right next door to each other. If you like a little bit of gambling, there's also Remington Park, which is a casino and a racetrack, and it has pubs and a few eateries inside as well. They also have Tinseltown Movie Theater over here. If you want to check out the latest movies at a reasonable price, this is the movie theater for you. Up next, we have the Arts District, home of the Oklahoma City Museum of Art, and also the Civic Center Music Hall, where you can catch plays and musicals throughout the year. This is also where we have probably one of the largest festivals, which is the Festival of the Arts each April. The Asian District is the hub of Vietnamese businesses, and you can find plenty of delicious restaurants and grocery stores in this area. You can even check out the Milk Bottle Building located at 2426 North Class and Boulevard, which is along the old Route 66. Automobile Alley used to be home to Oklahoma City's car dealerships, but now it includes things like local shopping, dining, nightlife, and art museums. You can check out 9th Street. That's where a lot of things are happening. And right down here, you'll see Factory Obscura's art exhibit. It's an interactive art experience that you don't want to miss out on. You'll also have Iguana Mexican Grill, Katie Bugs, Nash Bird, and s and Burger Joint. Also, if you're looking for some shopping to do, they have Collective Candles and the Cargo Room if you want cute clothes. Automobile Alley is also known for their signs of neon lights all around. So especially if you come down here during the holiday season, they have all of the buildings lit up and it's so gorgeous and you can just walk through and enjoy all of the lights. The Boathouse District is a U.S. Olympic and Paralympic training site for rowing and kayaking. The River Sport Adventure Park also has whitewater rafting, kayaking, and other water activities to enjoy. You can also try your hand at zip lining or even the obstacle course with the super long slide. In the summertime, you can also check out the floating films that they have. Uh, you can rent a tube or a raft and check out movies such as Jaws or The Meg. Up next we have the Entertainment District which is also known as Bricktown. So here we have a little bit of everything to do for the entire family. So we have Climb Up which is a climbing gym if you like to rock climb. We also have Harkins Movie Theater. We have Heyday. We also have Brickopolis. And we have plenty of clubs and the Bricktown Ballpark. There's also shopping down here and you can even check out some really good places to eat as well. Another major attraction down here is the Bricktown Canal. 
it goes throughout Bricktown and will take you to some points of interest and the guide will narrate you along the way. There's also carriage rides to check out at night or if you're a party goer, we even have the beer bikes as well. Chisholm Creek is a fairly new district. It's an entertainment hub as well. It offers things like indoor skydiving, top golf, and a lot of restaurants and bars. There are also some businesses that men may enjoy like Scissors and Scotch, which is a barber service, which offers a private lounge with handcrafted cocktails, or even burned by Rocky Patel, which is a cigar lounge. For the ladies, they also have a cycle bar, a blow beauty bar, and a nail salon and spa. So plenty of things over here to enjoy. Class and Curve is home to a lot of upscale shops and services. They have some local shops as well and national retailers such as West Elm, Anthropology, and Whole Foods. This is actually the only Whole Foods here in Oklahoma City. The Deep Deuce District was the heart of Oklahoma City's African American neighborhood in the 1920s and 30s. It was also known for its incredible jazz music. Now it's home to a lot of apartments, different businesses, and restaurants. A couple of places to check out while you're in the area are Deep Dew's Grill, Black Walnut, Bar Kaketi, and Anchor Down. We went on a historic Deep Deuce walking tour back in February during Black History Month and it was really informative. We learned a lot about the people who used to live in the buildings and the businesses that they ran. Up next we have downtown which has a lot going on so we have the Chesapeake Energy Arena where you can catch Thunder Games. We also have the Cox Convention Center. They have plenty of exhibits and music events. We also have the Marriott Botanical Gardens. There's always something going on in the park like yoga classes, live music, festivals, there's also the Oklahoma City National Memorial bombing site that you can go check out. And of course, there's plenty of businesses down here to work at. So it's really a place where you can live, work, and play. At the farmer's market building, you can find all kinds of things. For example, the actual farmer's market on Saturdays, but also concerts, trade shows, you can have your wedding there, sporting events, and much more. We also have local restaurants such as the Loaded Bowl and the Powerhouse. Up next, we have Film Row, which got its name because it used to be home to notable film companies like Paramount, MGM, and Universal. Nowadays, you can enjoy local shops like The Plant Shop, Joey's Pizzeria, Flashback Retro Pub, which is like an 80s arcade with all of your favorite video games. They even have the Jones Assembly that offers really good food and cocktails and also has a lot of recording artists and local bands lined up. If you need a place to stay, you're coming from out of town, the 21C Museum Hotel is also located down here as well. It's actually where a lot of the NBA teams stay when they come here for the Thunder Games. 
Midtown is another place where you can live, work, and play. It has everything you need right there in a pretty good sized area, but it's still walkable. So you have plenty of restaurants and businesses such as the veterinarian, eye doctors, chiropractors, dentists, you have them all there. We also have Blue Garden, which is a hangout, um, food trucks line up and they play games on the televisions out there. We also have The Collective, which is a fairly new food hall that houses seven different restaurants. Down here, they have the Midtown Walkabout, which helps out local businesses and the businesses, they usually offer some kind of discount if you come in and say hey or buy some merchandise. Make sure you check out Insomnia Cookies while you're down here as well. It's not local, but it's really good, warm cookies, and it's not to be missed. The Paseo is home to over 20 art galleries. Its architecture has a Spanish feel to it with its clay roof tiles and colorful buildings. Mixed in with the galleries are restaurants, boutiques, and other businesses as well. Once a year, they have Paseo Arts Festival that supports local artists, and it's another one of our big festivals here in Oklahoma City. As far as restaurants, the Paseo Grill and Sauced on Paseo, those are pioneers here on the Paseo district, but there's also new restaurants like Oso on Paseo and Frida Southwest. Whichever one you choose, you will not be disappointed. Up next, we have the Plaza District. Here you can find plenty of entertainment, local shops, and restaurants. So we have OKC Improv, the Lyric Theater, um, a dance company. You can also check out local shops like Out on a Limb, DNA Galleries, and Bad Granny's Bazaar. For food, Empire Slice House is really popular. Also, Goro Ramen, Mexican Radio, The Mule, Pie Junkie, and Roxy's Ice Cream. If you're into festivals, this district also has one as well. It's the second Friday of each month, and it's called Live on the Plaza. If you want to see Oklahoma City's western roots, then check out Stockyards. It's home to the Oklahoma National Stockyards, which is the largest feeder and stalker cattle market where you can check out live cattle auctions every week as well. If you're looking for boots or hats, Langston's has a, a wide variety, or you can check out Cattleman's Cafe, which is the oldest continually operating restaurant in Oklahoma City. And it's known for its delicious steak, lamb fries, and coconut cream pie. Uptown 23rd is located on 23rd Street between Broadway and Penn. So you have a lot of different things happening over here. You have a college, which is Oklahoma City University, and you have different businesses such as the Drake Seafood, Big Truck Tacos, Cheever's Cafe. We also have the Tower Theater for live music. If you're looking for a fundraiser, they have their annual fundraiser called Uptown Uncorked. Over on Western Avenue, you'll find a mix of local restaurants and bars along with antique stores, fine art galleries, furniture stores, retail shops, and boutiques. The Wheeler District is also a district where it's meant to be live, work, and play. So they have a lot of new homes being built a lot of people have moved in, but there's still plenty of open homes over here and they plan on building a lot more. So if you own a business, they'll have three story 
um, homes where you can have your business at the bottom and you can live at the top. There's also going to be the big friendly brewery over here along with Terminal Commons. And you can also check out the Ferris wheel at night. It's really pretty lit up or even take a walk on the river. All right, you guys, let's get to wrap this video up. Let us know what you thought about it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed, if you'd like to receive future videos about Oklahoma. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.